If spouses always kept their oral promises, beginning with their vows, we'd see a lot fewer marital disputes and even divorces. But are there some spousal promises that simply have to be in writing without exception? In the 2005 California case of Marriage of Benson, we examined this question in the context of a transaction between spouses that arguably transmuted marital property into separate property. Diane and Douglas Benson were married in 1983 and had two children some time later. They lived in a home owned by Diane's father in Santa Barbara. During the marriage, Diane's father gave the Bensons a 100% ownership interest in the home. At some point thereafter, Diane's father asked them to convey the home to an irrevocable trust, of which Diane was the beneficiary and her father the trustee. Diane and Douglas agreed and executed grant deeds conveying their interest in the home to the trust in the late 1990s. Douglas contended that he conveyed his interest in their home only after Diane orally promised to waive, in writing later, her interest in his community property retirement accounts, thereby transmuting the accounts to his separate property. However, nothing to this effect was ever reduced to writing, and the Bensons ultimately separated in 2000. Diane filed for divorce in trial court the following year. Notwithstanding the absence of a written instrument in which Diane transmuted the community property retirement accounts to Douglas's separate property, the court found that she did effectively transmute them to his separate property. It reasoned that the statutory requirement to reduce any transmutation of property to writing under such circumstances was subject to exceptions, as with laws like the statute of frauds. Consequently, it found that Douglas's act of conveying his interest in the house to the trust constituted partial performance of his oral transmutation agreement with Diane regarding his retirement accounts. Diane appealed this determination, and the appellate court affirmed. Diane appealed to the state Supreme Court. 